Hey friends and neighbors, this is Bungle. I'm remaking my last video because I don't think the last video turned out very well. Um, it, it ran long, I didn't do a very good job of explaining it, and it left some, some controversy at the end as to how things were working. So, quickly and to the point, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to make a quick, reliable toggle switch in Portal 2 using um, lasers and angle panels. I'm going to toggle this light bridge on and off right here. You see how quickly it is to respond. It's just about instant on. When you turn it off, there's a slight delay, but very slight. You don't have to make this out of a pedestal switch. You can also use a big button switch, and it doesn't matter how long you stand on the button, it's still going to toggle on and off the way you should, and it will work quickly, too. You see, I can... Oh. <laughs> of course, it didn't work that time, but if I jump... There you go. It will. It's quick enough to toggle the switch on and off either one of these works. If you're wondering how I got these two different switches to power the same machine, I made a three-way switch by putting an OR gate between the two of them. I've already covered this in an earlier video, so I'm not going to explain it again. If you want to know how to make a three-way switch, check my channel out. I've already explained it. Okay, so this is a pretty complicated machine. Instead of just trying to explain how this whole thing works, I've broken it down into three different parts. I will explain each of the three different parts after I'm done, you should have a, a pretty clear understanding of how the entire machine works as a whole. The first part is the pulse limiter. We need a pulse limiter because the pedestal switch will not output for less than three seconds. It has a three second minimum. These big buttons output for as long as you're standing on them, so that's completely inappropriate. We want to turn both of these into a quick little pulse. It's very easy to do. You just hook the pedestal or the button, hook it up to a laser beam, which points at a laser receiver, but also hook it up to an angled platform to cut it off. So when you push the button, it turns the laser on, it triggers this to rise up. This only receives a small pulse of power before the angled panel cuts it off. So we're paying attention to the right side. You see how it only received a little pulse. This platform cuts off the laser the rest of the time. It works with the big buttons too because the angled platform is hooked up to the button. So as long as I stand on the button, that platform is going to be blocking it, making sure that you only received, and when I say you, I mean the receiver, it only received a small brief pulse, nothing more. It doesn't matter how long I stand on this. Okay, so the first part is the pulse generator. We got that covered. The next part is the actual switching mechanism. It's very simple. This is an on-off switch, so it has two different states, on and off. This button hooks up to both of these lasers. They both turn on at the same time. They're both pointing at their own receiver. The catch is they have angled platforms between them. One of them is raised up and the other one is down. So when we stand on the button, only one of the receivers sees power. So on the first cycle of our switch, that's going to be the on cycle. This will receive the off cycle and this will not be triggered until the second time we cycle the switch. How do we do that? Just by flip-flopping the position of those angled panels right here. I hook them up to this little pedestal. You see they trade places. But then when the pedestal turns off, they go back to their original position. This is the problem. We need to switch them over to the off position and then force the, si force the system to stay locked in that position until we send another signal through, then allow it to go back to the state that it's in right now. To do that, we need something called an SR latch. Uh, SR stands for set reset, meaning when you set it, it will stay in that position until you send another signal to reset it. Now, this was kind of a contentious issue in my last video. I maintained that this is a glitch that this could not be recreated in real life. Several people disagreed with me and they said no, it's just a regular SR latch. I'm going to explain why clearly this is a as far as Portal is concerned, this is a latch because it works. But all I'm saying is that you can never recreate this in real life because electricity doesn't work that way. We, we're using lasers to represent electricity basically and I'm going to show how this could not work. The button hooks up to the first laser which is pointing at the relay the relay then powers the second laser, which is also connected to this relay. It receives power from this relay. When I stand on the button, this entire three-piece circuit lights up. All three pieces power up, exactly like we'd expect. The glitch is introduced when I turn off the button, when I stand off the button. Now, if this were a real-life electrical circuit, power is coming in through the button. And as soon as I remove the button, as soon as I get off the button, the power source, which is invisible, it's coming in from another room, the power source is cut off, and this circuit has no new power being fed through it. So this is a repeating loop right here, where the, the relay feeds the laser, which in turn feeds the relay. It's stuck in a 69 position, kind of. 
and the only thing keeping them stuck in this position is this laser light or electricity. The problem is that in real life, when you cut off the power source, you no longer have voltage pushing electricity through this circuit. This circuit will not remain active for any amount of time. It's going to shut off as soon as you shut it off. All I was trying to say is that in real life, you cannot make this. It doesn't really matter. This is not real life. This is portal. We're trying to make switches in portal, so this does work, and this is an SR latch. You can on the button as many times as you want, but this is never going to shut off until you physically break the line between the laser and the relay. So what we're going to use is angled panels. There you go. That's a functional SR latch as far as port. So it, let's just say that everybody was right. I was right in that you could not make this in real life, and everybody else was right in that this is an SR latch. I mean, it has set, and it will hold itself until you reset it. So there you go. It is an SR latch that can only exist in Portal. How's that? This next room has nothing to do with the switch. I'm just trying to demonstrate what's going on in here. I believe this is latency. This powers you on, which powers you on, and they should both shut off, but they're, they send the signals at such a speed that they keep each other going indefinitely. I believe this is a constant on right now with little blips of an off cycle that they're just too quick to see. We can't see them. So what I did to visualize that is I wired up this next room the opposite way. Instead of having on with a bunch of little off glitches, I have off with a bunch of little on glitches, and that's much, much more obvious. There's no clock generator. There's nothing that I set up causing that to happen. I just pointed a laser at its relay, and then I connected the relay back to the laser, and then I hooked the relay up to anything. It can be a laser, it can be a fizzler, a light bridge, anything at all. When I hook them up in that way, they'll just boom, 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 boom. They'll pulse like that really, really fast. I believe this is doing the same exact thing that this, is, this room is doing, only in this room you can't see it because you can't see the off pulses, but you can see the on pulses. Now, that being said, I'm going to take you into a brand new room. I'm going to build that toggle switch from the ground up. And now that we understand how each individual components work, it should all make sense, hopefully. I checked my progress when I cut out there, and I see that I'm not making a quick video by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I think I'm doing a decent job explaining it, so I'm just going to keep going. If I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to myself. So I'm going to build this first, and then uh, as I wire it up, I'm going to explain what I'm doing, but I'm just going to lay all the parts down first. It has four lasers on the left side. I'm separating them so that you can see that this is pulse limiter, flip-flop switch, um, SR latch. You have four lasers on the left side and three laser receivers on the right side and then a fifth laser on the back right. And right down the middle, we have angled platforms all the way. I set them at 30 degrees for speed. So they don't have as much movement to do. I like to paint them black just to help visualize so that you can see where the, the flip-flop thing is happening. And then last but not least, we need uh, the relay. That serves as part of the SR latch, and it's also the final output. Okay, so I'll just hook the output up to the door. The door is going to be what we toggle on and off. And let's get going. Hook the pedestal up to the first laser. Also hook it up to the platform to block it. That creates the pulse that comes through here. Hook you up to both of the next two lasers for the, the flip-flop portion, the on-off, the two different states. I don't know what you call it, a state selector maybe? State switch? I don't have, um, I've never been trained, so I don't know. One of you starts up, one of you starts down. The way I set it up, I always start you down. So the first signal through, you don't receive a signal, you receive a signal. So I hook you up to the next laser. That powers up this relay, which opens up the door. I'm also going to hook it up to the SR latch, so I have to hook this relay up to the other laser that's pointing back at it. And when this happens, this is the end of the first cycle, so I need to tell this relay to signal the flip-flop on these two panels right here. So I'll hook this up to both of these panels. This also works because this relay is going to be held on the entire time by this laser as they're stuck, as they're locked in that state. So this will hold these two panels in the position that I want them to be. Um, I wanted to start with this one deployed, though. 
Remember, they have to be, if one up, if one is up, the other one has to be down. So the signal comes through the first time. It travels through both of you, but it only connects to this receiver. Comes into this one. You signal the switch in state, and you hold it like that, so that when we cycle through the next time, this receiver receives power instead of this receiver. So this receiver we got to hook up to the angle platform right here. This is what is going to sever the connection with the RS or the SR latch to send it back to its original state. And I believe that's everything right there. I'm going to stop recording while I hit compile just to save you the 30 seconds of compile time. Okay, here I am in the completed room. I only did this because I have a, an $85 quad core. So it's good enough to play games, but it doesn't like to record and compile at the same time. Here's the completed switch. Again, it takes up a lot more space because I spread it out, and I just spread it out to help visualize how every... T basically to show you that there's three separate sections doing three separate things every time you run it. There you go. You see the SR latch is stuck in the on position which forces these two flip-flop panels to stay in their reversed position, and nothing's going to move until I cycle through again, and that puts everything back to its original state. That's all there is to it, my friends. That is the five laser toggle switch in Portal 2, along with a very lengthy description of each component. I, If anybody watched to the very end, I'm shocked and amazed. I think you deserve a medal for watching this whole thing or you're just a boring person. I don't know. But have a nice day. Take this stuff. Apply it to your maps.